All right, well, I've been working on uh, Johnny's circuit here for the uh, one magnet no bearing Bedini in the snake egg, I call it, that's uh, running right there. And uh, I want to get this down to a real, real low voltage and amp draw so run it on that SEC wirelessly if I can. So I worked on this trying to get this down more. Uh, before I did anything else and I changed out the transistor which is a TIP3055 to a little tiny thing it's an MPS A06 also a 2 and 222 works and it's what we're using in the SEC and these things cost about six cents a piece they're real cheap you get them on eBay or electronics outlet and it seemed to help and it runs at real high frequencies which is what I, I kinda wanna do here and uh, I tried today running it on one of these solar cells like uh, is on Louie and Dewey there, or Huey. Dewey never got one, but those are my little jewel thief um, projects, my helpers. And anyway, the little solar cells out there in the back there, and this is an extension cord coming in here. And um, it's just going into a little capacitor here and then going into the Bedini. And uh, she's running it uh, that voltage off that little solar cell. And the amp draw is way, way down there, um, about 15 milliamps or so on, on the amp draw. And I've got the, the third winding is going into these LEDs here. But the wave pattern is what I, I want to ask people about that understand this, why I've got this going on here. This is really like an H pattern almost. Very strange uh, oscillations going on here at the top and the bottom. And when this fires off, of course, it goes this way and that way and every which way. So I don't really understand the dynamic of why that's happening. Maybe somebody that understands waveforms can address that. But um, it does charge up. i got a capacitor here. Here's standing voltage on the back end of the Bedini. And I'll connect this and you'll see the uh, capacitor charge up here. there goes the capacitor and I do have good charging on this. this this does charge quite well and I tried it on several different things and it is it is a pretty darn good charger and that's running off a solar cell that's not running off of a capacitor or anything that's just off the solar cell in fact I can take the capacitor out of this completely and it still runs and that's the voltage that it's holding on that solar cell so the amp draw is not very much this just dampens it out a little bit. Helps. But anyway, I just wanted to let people know that uh, you can take one of these little uh, small transistors and on this low of an amp draw, you can get it to work on this uh, one magnet, no bearing Bedini motor that uh, works quite well. And then if you do throw another few hundred windings on the coil, then you can come up with another driver, which is this LED driver right here. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share. If anybody knows what this square waveform is for, I, I would appreciate a comment. Now here's one other thing I wanted to show. If I stop this by grabbing the magnet here, this keeps on running. Sometimes. <laughs> it didn't do it that time. But yeah, sometimes this thing keeps right on running when uh, when I get it going, but uh, not this time. It, it goes into a self-oscillation. Anyway, that's the latest for today.